So we are doing sponsorships for the Abilene Flying Bison. We plan to maximize the profit and success of our organization utilizing sponsorships. These sponsorships can come through various ways, including signage, fundraisers, events, and selling apparel. So sponsorships through signage, businesses can donate money for a sponsorship on the sign. These signs can be hung around the uh, baseball field in various places. Um, the sign size depends on how much they want to donate. So the more money they want to donate, the larger the sign we can get. And the sign will feature the organization's logo, their location, and a contact. Um, another cool sponsorship we could do is uh, do in-game sponsorships. So uh, this provides businesses the ability to sponsor in-game situations and outcomes. Examples of this would be home runs, strikeouts, pitching changes, foul balls, stolen bases, and uh, organizations and businesses can sponsor when these things happen. So for instance, if there's a home run hit, there could be a 10% discount at a restaurant or a dealership or something of that nature. Um, it would be just a cool thing. And like I put the example for the picture in the World Series, if they stole a base, uh, Taco Bell provided a free taco for every viewer. So. That would be a cool way. Another way would be uh, sponsorship through apparel. So this could be where uh, we could put sponsors on the back of team apparels, uh, of the shirts of the team, such as banks, restaurants, just anything of that nature. And then we could try to find an exclusive deal for team apparel. So on the actual jerseys themselves, we could try to get Nike or Adidas or New Era or uh, just a, a major company like that to sponsor our team. The last thing is sponsorship through events. So there are a bunch of different things you can do um, on game night uh, to sponsor people. For instance, the first thing we're gonna do are theme nights. So things like bring your own dog, maybe it's sponsored by Petco or something. There could be um, Star Wars night. I mean, I don't know who would sponsor that, but uh, there are so many different theme nights. Uh, one idea I had was like a cowboy night sponsored by like Cavenders. Um, and then beyond that, we also have uh, the option for businesses to set up booths on the outside of the field, kind of on the, uh, just outside the ticket booth area. Um, so they can set up a, a tent and advertise their business in that way, give out free, uh, free product, whatever their product may be, and then uh, people can come into the game and have a good time. The only thing they may have to deal with is uh, competing against concessions. Uh, we don't want them to necessarily compete against our concessions, so we would have to work that out. I don't know how that would work out, but uh, that is something that would have to happen. Also, we have ticket raffles and giveaways. There might be something where at the at some point in the game, maybe halfway through, maybe at the end of the game, you say, hey, ticket number this, come get your prize. It can be a prize that was given to us from a business and they are sponsoring the business. Maybe it's like we do the Canes giveaways here at uh, Hardin Simmons. We can do something like that. Also, there are seventh inning stretch events that can be sponsored by different companies. Uh, you see people doing like the president's races, mascot races, you have the freeze in Atlanta. Another thing I was thinking of is maybe a theme night we could have is uh, bring your own dog night and then like you do where the dog races to the owner and then prizes are given out and uh, you know things just to get fans involved and then also have a sponsorship. Those fans get the prize given by the sponsorship and then uh, that sponsor also gets their name out there for the rest of the audience. And so that is our sponsorship uh, plan for the Abilene Flying Bison, and we thank you for listening. Thank you.